Welcome back to the vlog, y'all. So today we're hitting up this international slash global market, and supposed to say they got some bomb ass food there with some goodies, knickknacks, and whatnot. So we're gonna go venture out and see what they got. So follow along, let's go. Get, babe. So what did we get? He recommended that their special of the week is the salmon and the shrimp, so I went that it was a special. Let's see what's so special about it. Mm -hmm. But it's amazing that presentation on here. It's cute that they have all the sides like all around it. And the salmon and the shrimp's right in the middle on top of their rice. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where to start. Oh, the, I don't the even rice looks so in. good. I know. <laughs> Out of everything, that's, I say the rice look good. That's the most Asian thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try a little bit of salmon though. Yeah, try that. Salmon and some rice. There you go. The outer edges of the salmon is crispy. The salmon is cooked to perfection. It's not chewy at all. It literally melts in your mouth. I think the salmon is just always good in general. We had a little bit of the sweet potato. I think it's boiled and a little bit of like cinnamon and brown sugar, I am not sure. The vegetables, the cucumbers and tomatoes right next to it is fresh. The chickpeas, I don't know what they did to it, it is really good as well. <laughs> I can only imagine for everything else. But definitely just try. It's homey. But I'm gonna finish this. It's really good. It's a really homey dish. I'm gonna finish this. Not sharing with me. Okay. We'll see what our next spot is. Made it to this place called Hot Indian Foods. And I got the Taki. It's called a Taki. A kati roll, my bad. Kati a kati. Roll. Kati, I was thinking about taki. Mm -hmm. Kati roll. So basically some chicken rolled up. It was like a tortilla or something like that. And a bunch of vegetables, cilantro. And she said she put like some type of mango paste. Mango chutney and yeah. a mid cilantro chutney. Yeah. Oh wait, here's a better picture. Here's a better view. There it is. That's what it looks Pretty like. like Indian food to go. Yeah, on a roll. So. Uh -huh. Chicken's done pretty well. It's really soft and tender, really chewy. Flavor? Uh, mm -hmm. Flavor? The, the flavor is really nice. It's like the curry flavor. Mm -hmm. And then you can definitely taste the chutney in there. The tomatoes and cilantro, so cucumbers chopped up in there. It's like fresh vegetables, so that's good too. But um, I kind of wish that they would have made the tortilla more crispy. But it's still good though, it's not bad. It's kind of like, like Lily said, it's a go roll. Quick so Indian it's, food, yeah, I guess. Yeah, quick fix for Indian food if that's what you want. That's what you like. So not bad, not bad. And we got us some samosas too. Bam! We always gotta get some samosas. We love samosas. Mm -hmm. So we got the butter chicken samosas. Yeah. But well, anyways, we're gonna finish this and we're gonna find another spot to eat. What is it? It's Fam's rice bowl. It's Fam's. No, it's Fam's rice bowl. That's what it says. Uh, I, I think so. Bowl. Okay, Fam's. Anyway, what it, yeah. it's a Vietnamese spot here. And y'all know that we have to get the bun mi. Oh, yeah. We got their traditional, which is looks like char siu pork mm -hmm. with some of the Vietnamese ham, mm -hmm. some vegetables, pickled carrots, pate. Warm is bun. Oh, yeah. cilantro. Warm Sorry buns. for those I people. I love warm buns. Sorry for those people that do not like cilantro, but I love my cilantro. Oh yeah, me too. But let's give this a try. Yeah. Nice and little crisp. Mm -hmm. I have mixed feelings about this. What? What'd you say? I have mixed feelings about this. Uh oh, why is that? I really, 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 really like the 
the dough, the bread. It's super crunchy, like very, it's a nice enough crunch where you get that crunch back there as soon as you bite into it, but it's not crunchy enough to where it burns the roof of your mouth. You all know what I mean if y'all ever had a bun meat. But inside the dough is super chewy. I love it, like so much. I would just buy the baguettes if I could. The filling, I don't know, I feel like so much flavor. Like I need some soy sauce and sriracha in it or something. <laughs> I don't. I think they need the the mayonnaise or the the aioli put on here or something. It needs more flavor. Like I'm not too mad about it. It's good enough to get by, but for traditional bunny, kind of sad. We're gonna go buy more somewhere else, but <laughs> but it's pretty good. I, I I'm happy. With it. What did you choose for okay. final meal? Yeah, our final okay. meal, because we're getting kind of full. Mm -hmm. And we want to get some dessert, so we might go grab some boba somewhere, but I don't know. But anyways, what I got is quesadillas, chicken quesadillas, some spicy. Um, yeah, I know, right? You can't see the meat, obviously, <laughs> but it's in there. I hope so, at least. And you know what quesadillas comes with. And then we got some churro, nice and warm churro still. We're a sucker for churro. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that. See that, see that sugar. glisten? See that, see that glisten right there? And then we got the elote bowl. Look at that. Ooh. Elote in the bowl. Mm -hmm. Candy. Easier to eat so it, you know, it doesn't get stuck in your teeth and all that. Mm -hmm. Some hot sauce here. Bam. Mm -hmm. Alright, so how am I going to eat this? Just eat it. Okay, eat it. <laughs> Just okay. eat it. Just like that, huh? Yep. Alright. Put some hot sauce on it first. Drizzle it on. You know, let's see that. See all that. Mm. Mm -hmm. More, more hot sauce. I'm not trying to sleep tonight. He's a know. sucker for sauce. Mm -hmm. You're trying not to let me sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> right. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh snap! Here we go. Get a good grip. Man. Sorry, that whole thing falls out. I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> oh, it's hot. It's hot. Okay, we're gonna stop right here. Your big taco. Here we go. Tortilla outside is nice, crunchy, thin, and hot. So I can feel it on my fingers right now. <laughs> so that's what I like a lot. But it's still chewy though, so that's really nice. And then the chicken inside is really, really tender. Um, the greens in there that they got in there is really nice and refreshing as well. And I think there's some cheese on top there. That's really good too. And the hot sauce that I throw in there, mm, so soaky. So, so. so I'm gonna kill this and not give Lily none because she don't need to eat anymore. So I'm just gonna, use the churro. I'm, gonna I'm just kidding. I'm happy with this. <laughs> and probably. Hey, I want some too. Nope. Okay, okay. I see, I see you. I see you. I'm gonna eat the churro. I'm gonna okay. eat the churro. <laughs> That's good. Nice and warm, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Golden it's hour. Right now. Yeah, it is golden hour. <laughs> Anyways, we just got to the car. And what's your yeah. overall? Overall spot. I think I think it's good because you still left some for later. Yeah. My overall experience and thoughts of this place is really cool. It's a really nice place to like try all different types of cultures of food in one place. In one building. It's, yeah, it's and then really nice. you can just walk around. It's like a buffet, but you have to pay every time you eat. <laughs> but other than that, it's like it's a good. it's like a food court at the mall. Yeah, that's what it is but pretty much. But it's, it's all types of food. It's more homey feeling. I feel like. Mm -hmm. Home some foods. Kingdom. Yeah, some. But yeah, I like it. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend if you ever visit. Uh, this is Minneapolis, by the way. If you ever visit Minneapolis, make a stop here. It's definitely interesting. It's in a really, really tall building. The upper levels, we'll I believe, see. are all uh, apartment buildings. It's I one of the. So. It's one of the tallest buildings around here. So it definitely sticks out in the very, very top. Says I believe Midtown. it says Midtown. Yeah, it says Midtown. And um, it's really cool. There's a couple of shops there. It's like mom and pop little stores. It kind of, if you, like little knickknacks. if you watched our previous vlog of us visiting the Hmong village, it's kind of like that. There you go. But it's literally a global market. That's what exactly what it's called. I but, tried to link the Hmong market right here somewhere or in the description below if you haven't seen that. Just mm -hmm. click a couple of videos. I just watch our videos until you end it. But, um, <laughs> yeah, highly recommend. It's a cute date idea place to go. Just because if you have a picky partner, y'all guys can just get whatever the heck you want and just sit down, grab a table, and eat. Sure. Or if you're not picky like us, 
grab a couple of bites like us or from grab specific, specific so, bites from different places yeah. so and then like, share. So what we like to do is get like one dish from you know every spot for us to share so we don't spend too much money but we still get a little taste of everything. That's kind of like what we do at food Just halls in general. In yeah. general. It's like this, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of like a bohemian type of like rustic vibe. I really like it. It's thin, it's cute. And last but not least, for these warmer days, I think I'm just dreaming of warmer weather, you know? But I got this picnic mat. So what's cool is that it rolls up into like this little tote thing. So pretty cute. It's a little padded, so, yeah. but kind of in the vlog here, PCP carrying to the, like a baby. <laughs> That's how she likes to be held, and it's really funny. But we're gonna end it here, guys. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't yet joined the family, subscribe, like, leave a comment. If you guys have ever been to the global market, let us know. If not, tell us what you'd like to try. See you guys next time. Bye.